Hello, welcome to Hating TV. Today, we're finally finishing this. So the four corner arms are up. If I bring you guys over to see, it's a really hot day today, which is really unusual to say, especially in the Southwest, and especially in October. So these diagonals hinged to here, which uh, sort of alleviates the weight a bit. So these four going out all four sides on the angle to give us the biggest area as we can masterfully get. Um, they're all on, brackets are on, as you can see. They're attached, they're at their angles. Height, figuring out at the moment. But, beauty of it, halt can be, height can be altered depending on, you know, what sort of ground you're on. Obviously this field is running at an angle, trade is running at an angle, so it's fairly square, but if we come to something undulating, we can tweak bits Drop bits, raises bit, raise bits, a little bit, depending. Um, I've put it right on top of an area which we got these bloody grubs in. So hopefully chickens are going to be here this week and tear this to smithereens, eat all these grubs because the way I see it is to take a negative, turn it into a positive. Grubs in the ground, high in protein. Chickens need protein, create really high protein eggs and free feed you obviously still get the feed but if there's free feed available as well win 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 so that's what we've got to do with that now next thing is to get the rope and stitch the rope which i'll explain a bit more later uh on all the side sections and end sections and then then hopefully we're gonna take the legs out and it'll all suspend and we've got pegs to all the ground so i'll put it in shot and then I'll name her. What am I going to name her? Yes, I'm having a fluffy hair day. And yes, as many of you noticed, I've cut all my hair off. So, well, not all of it, you know, there's some here. But I'm having a bit of a fluffy hair day. Usually I've got a cap on, but it's hot and I don't wear a cap. So, there it is. <laughs> There you go. Not looking too shabby. There's one line. There's the other line. I've got to just do some cutting off and tying off with some cable ties and stuff. Step over the top. Beautiful. So, what did I do? Yeah, if it's a bit windy, really apologise. Also, if you haven't yet done so, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment below on any questions about this. Um, and I'll do my best to get back to you. Being a bit lazy on comments recently, just because we've been so busy. Now, four diagonal poles, because if the pole goes out diagonally, you get a big, bigger square. Uh, at the moment, I've got rope on the poles. Um, I ideally want to put chain on the poles, but the price of chain at the moment is uh, through the roof, and I haven't yet come across any scrap around the farm. 
Um, but that goes back to a point further out, so there isn't so much pull on it. So most of the weight is going down to the pivot point down here and not on the rope. Uh, then, as you'll probably see now in the magic of things, um, the rope here is weaved, weaved between uh, the sections of fencing, which that then in sort of holds it like a curtain sort of effect was my thinking. Uh, rubber skirts are on, so we can lift them up for shade for chickens underneath in summer. We can also lift them up from go under there and peck around and feed on what else is going on underneath the trailer as well as outside the trailer. And we can shut it up to stop draft, keep warm at night and in the winter. Because in theory, is a saying out here. Now, I have taped up the loops. I have got to go in and around with some more plastic. I've also got plastic tape up the hook because that will stop the electric fence and electric going through the poles and through the trailer. Uh, chickens want to be encouraged to go back in the trailer to lay. So that's a little tweak I've got to do. Also, which I said over here, fence I've got to attach snip last bit off this was nearly 50 meters of fencing so pretty good considering we've got 10 meters left on there <coughs> here's obviously the other side but it is pretty much ready to go uh, we've got a automatic drinker to put inside we have got it sorted that if we wanted to chuck a solar panel on it and put a heat lamp in there in the winter we can and a battery the front section i'll go back in i'm back in the bin over the pole the only problem with this is there's lots of ups and overs so right you guys are going to wait for me, I need two hands. And I'm back. So this drinker's going to go in there. Uh, we can put chicken feed down here. And we've got a completely enclosed cupboard for everything, which is also rat proof. Um, if a rat can get in here, like fair play to him, because it's just metal everywhere. There is no wood for him to really chew from. Um, you can't get it in from underneath because that's metal. It should be, fingers crossed, self clean from below. Uh, there will be, we will keep a brush in here just to brush off any poo sticking on the mesh floor, just so that's going down as well. So, these little grubs that we've all been talking about is, oh, there's one of them. See, guys? There is a chafer grub. I decided to really get a move on doing this because these chafer grubs are very high in protein. Turn negative into a positive. If this works, um, I'm already on the lookout for another trailer. So I'm, fingers crossed, going to be putting 40 chickens in this pen. Uh, looking for another trailer to do up. So then we've got 80 chickens. And yeah, just like I will scale it up um, as much as I can, but thinking with a chicken, I can get rid of these chafer grubs and make money out of them. Now, there's a thought, isn't there? Um, but everything here, everything here hasn't cost a lot. Um, again, ideally on the chain on the diagonals, that would make it easier to set the height of the bar because the rope does stretch, but the rope will do short term, if that makes sense. At the end of the day, it is up and it is working. Um, I've got to tweak this end at the moment because the poles this end aren't hard, or turn you around. This end aren't high enough. That end is perfect, so the bottom of the bottom wire is touching the ground. Up here, we've got a bit of a sag, but these are all things that can be tweaked all the time because the way I made it. So depending on the ground, the ground doesn't have, doesn't have to be dead level. Each corner can be slightly outward at any time. Also with the uh, chain eventually you'll be able to sort of be able to work out by link 
how um, much height drop or, or drop or lift you need on it, if that makes sense. Um, but the most, most, most important thing, in order to move this contraption, all we have to do is bring a quad bike over, not actually hitch up. I might eventually get to making a proper bar extension to the hitch of the quad bike that will go underneath the fence to pull it forward. But for now, we're just going to have a long strop and drag it through. Always working uphill, never down, because if we work downhill, it's going to like run away from us, if that makes sense. If I ever need to take this downhill, I will take the trailer uphill and I'll reverse it down so it's going down on its own momentum, being stopped by the bike or RCV, whatever I'm using at the time. <coughs> but most of the time it's going to be going uphill until we get up in these uh, uh, like higher fields, because this is the area we're going to work it for a while. But the other thing is, all these four corners can be lifted up, completely up, to go through gateways, and the net is just lifted up like a curtain, out the way, go through a gateway, away you go. If we needed to go a few miles down the road, which is totally doable as well, I've just got to go and check that there's no low, low electric lines, um, or they're high enough out that we're not going to hit them with poles up in the air, and just take it down the road, basically. So there you go. Now, in the heading of this video, you're going to see it's called a chicken tractor. I am naming this and dubbing this the chicken trawler, hence a great big arms with this great big net that is going to be basically going down the field. So you over in America with your chicken tractors, this is my take on chicken tractor, which I'm called a chicken trawler. And I'm already thinking I need to make another one or a bigger one. What do you guys think? But again, what do you guys think? Also, <laughs> not that I think I'm a genius at all. Do you think this should be entered in the Farmer's Weekly invention thing? You know what I mean? The invention competition that they do once a year? Do you think the chicken trawler should be in this? Let me know. But anyway, hope you've enjoyed this uh, little video. And any questions on it, let me know. Someone has said uh, on Instagram, because I posted a picture of it, that it needed to be patented. Um, get around to that, whatever. If any of you want to copy my design, crack on. Like, at the end of the day, I would love everyone to make money. That is my dream. And if that can help you guys, I'll tell you what, I'm happy with that. Well happy with that. Also, there are a few people that told me this can be done. And I love that sort of thing. If anyone tells you something can't be done, it bloody can. Apart from an elephant can't eat his own head and pigs can't fly. But, can you make netting levitate so you don't have to pick it up every time? Yes, you can. Anyway, hope you have enjoyed this. Hope you enjoyed my idea. Voila. Um, if you haven't yet done so, please hit subscribe, ring the bell, leave us a comment. And um, yeah, we'll have a chat. Hopefully, things are getting quieter-ish. Well, they're not. They're not. Just in, just different. I'm not out in the field all the time. I've got field work to do. But anyway, that is a good job done. Next time you see it, we'll be putting chickens in. Until next time, see you next time. Cheers.